The American Badass Grill is all about freedom. Freedom to take your cooker where you want and cook what you want. And that's why we're on this amazing waterfall cooking on the American Badass Grill. Some chicken thighs, my favorite part of the chicken. I got a, a sweet, spicy, zesty rub. I'm gonna sprinkle on these guys here. And we got our cooker all set up for indirect cooking. Check this out. I got my lump wood on this side, no lump wood over here. So that's my safe zone. That's my goof proof zone. So we've got these things all rubbed up, skin side down. Man, the sound of awesomeness as that chicken hits the heat. Okay, so we're gonna get a sear rocket on these guys. Once we got the color, I'm gonna move them to the indirect side and let them cook all the way through. And then we're gonna add a sweet and spicy barbecue sauce right at the end. We don't touch it now because there's loads of sugar and barbecue sauce and sugar burns. All right, so I got the sear on the chicken. I got some good color and I'm gonna have a nice crispy skin. Now I'm gonna move it over to the indirect side, my safe zone, and we can get started on our spicy, sweet, butter glaze. Let's make the tastiest glaze in the history of forever. So I've got a really ripe mango, I got a chile, and I got some cilantro, stalks and all. I'm just gonna rip off the bottom bits and give us all a chop. And of course, I got a big old block of butter. A heart attack waiting to happen. Let's do this. So I'm gonna chop into some of this mango. So I got the sweet into our cauldron. Okay, it's a mug I got when I bought some root beer, but it is a cauldron right now. <laughs> so there's the sweetness of the mango. Next up, I want the spice of the chili. If you don't like too much heat, take the seeds out, or just don't use it, man. But I like my food nice and spicy. I like a kick. So in goes the chilies. I want that whole thing. Next up, cilantro. Now, don't just use the leaves of the cilantro, man. Go with the stalks. That's where the flavor is. So we're gonna chop up some cilantro. And again, that goes into the cauldron. And next up, it's best friend, butter. Probably the best invention after the American Badass Grill and women. We're gonna do half a block of butter, then we'll set up our corn. In you go. Yes. Dunk a dunk. Our chicken's looking really good. Give them a flip. Make sure they're cooked all the way through. Oh yeah. Looking really good, man. Got some nice color there. Getting it cooking right to the bone. The meat's starting to peel off. These guys are looking awesome. Now you can see we're doing indirect cooking. That's where all my heat is, and I've saved all that room for my corn. The chicken's already got the color. I'm just making sure it's cooked all the way through and staying nice and juicy. Now let's get our cilantro, mango, chili butter glaze rocking. Get that cooking and let's set up our corn. So I got a couple ears of corn and I've already de-silked these, right? But you wanna soak them in water for a good couple hours because you don't want the stalks to burn. You know when you steam corn or you boil corn? We're kind of doing that using the wet husks. So we're going to peel these guys back. Nice and easy. The silk's already gone. And then we're going to shake off all that water, man. Because we want that butter glaze to stick to our corn. We're in the most picturesque location in the Smoky Mountains. We got a waterfall. We got fish a jumping. We got chicken cooking and we're gonna about we're about to hit some corn on this bad boy and that's what you got when you got the american badass grill you got the freedom to go wherever you want and we can control the heat check this out we've got indirect on one side with the chicken we got direct heat with the corn over here we've got our dual dampers so i can allow the right amount of oxygen flow to come in and out of our cooker we've got full control with the American Badass Grill. And this butter is doing its magic with the mango and the chilies and the cilantro. It's now time to bring the butter to the corn with the magic wand of herbs. It's a herb wand, man. I got some thyme, some rosemary, some sage. It's all gonna add flavor to our barbecue. 
So we're gonna stick this into the butter. Oh my gosh. A cacophony, a smorgasbord of insane flavor. And then we glaze with all that buttery goodness. <laughs> and now we're gonna cook it. So, you grab onto the husks and you slide them back over the corn. And you put them directly on to the heat. And all that butter is gonna steam and cook inside that husk. We want that chicken cooked all the way through. We're gonna give the chicken a flip. Yeah, get some good color on there. And that barbecue sauce is gonna be kissing that chicken imminently. Cooking chicken and corn on a waterfall in the Smoky Mountains. It doesn't get any more American than that. All right, the chicken's almost done, almost. This is when we add that barbecue sauce. You don't add it any earlier, otherwise it'll burn. And you don't want burnt chicken, you want crispy skin. So we're gonna pour some sauce on there. And of course we still got that herb wand. That's gonna help us glaze our chicken. Give them a flip. Yeah. Oh, this chicken's smelling unbelievable. Sweet, smoky goodness. All right, we're gonna give everything on here about another five minutes, and then we're snacking back on some tasty barbecue on a waterfall, courtesy of the American Badass Grill. Look at that, man. Our chicken's all good. We got that crispy skin, that barbecue sauce is caramelized onto our bird thighs. The corn is all good. We got that golden brown coming off. Look at that. It's time to snack back on some tasty barbecue. Look at that. I can't wait to snack back into that skin with that sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. And then the piece de resistance, man. It's my Jerry Maguire. This completes my barbecue. <laughs> Perfect barbecue cooked on a waterfall. Versatility, portability, freedom. That's what the American Badass Grill is all about. Now it's time to enjoy the fruits of my endeavors. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's the best barbecue I've ever had. Go to AmericanBadassGrill.com now.